a 3-2 defeat here at Chesson uh, this afternoon. Hayden, how have we lost that game? Honestly, we've lost the game because the referee was absolutely atrocious. And here's a message to Nick Robinson and the Ishmian League, and here's a message to the Football Association. Referees have cost me a place in the FA Cup, they've cost me points at Enfield, and they've cost me points today. And the standard of referee in this season is nothing short of atrocious. And I'm getting bored with all of my hard work being wrecked by completely negligent, inefficient, pathetic referees. Has, has the ref got... So, so we, we've had Fabio sent off, both sides have had a penalty, and then they've had a late second booking as well. Yeah. Has the ref got all four of those decisions wrong? <laughs> I'm struggling to think of a decision that he got right. And uh, the, the guy who was the linesman outside as well equally goes into the atrocious category. It's very difficult to come here and take on 14 people. I'll be straight with you. Not only did he get those decisions wrong, the bench of Chezun gets Fabio sent off. They, if anything, it's both as bad as each other. Uh, it wasn't high, it was honest attempt for the ball and the reaction from the bench gets Fabio sent off. The referee has to do better than that, but clearly when he's um, struggling to probably officiate on a Sunday morning with 22 drunks, that's what happens. Between, we've conceded two goals in the first 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, and then up until the, the red card for Fabio with about 25 minutes to go, we've completely dominated that game. We got back on level terms really quickly. Um, was, how pleased were you with that element of the game and the way we bounced back from going behind so early? Yeah, really pleased. We spoke about what happened last year here. We spoke about that the team, the team um, played with a lack of personality last year, uh, which resulted in us playing with 10 men for large parts of, 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 of the game. Um, but you saw that because uh, Beckles Richards has come off the centre halves uh, unopposed. The second goal is not a penalty. Um, so I think we did start slowly and they started brightly. We expected that, we expected a tough game, but it was reminiscent of last year, I think. But what wasn't reminiscent last year was then, last year we sort of played ourselves into further problems and today uh, we played with an amazing personality. You know, we can look at the goals that, that we conceded, but in, in saying that, I saw the best team lose and you know the the character that the players showed from Simon to Wally to the back players another good performance from Javan um, that's good with the ball let's be fair at two all um, Elliot Buchanan goes through one and one could be three two Gorsay as well then uh, Elliot Buchanan is, is denied by Gore again at the near post, who's done very well. Listen, we knew Chesham would be good. Um, I said last, last week it would be a tough game. The Craig Edwards team are very difficult to play against. Um, they'll be pleased with the win and we congratulate them. But I'll, I'll be open and say for me, um, the, referee, the referee had a big out, uh, a big... Um, uh, a big reason behind the result um, and actually I think he was pretty poor for both sides. How frustrating is it that in reality it feels like they've scored with all the only three chances in the game they've really created? Well that's, that's right, I mean the truth is, is, is that that is true. Um, I don't think it's unfair to suggest that Rob Toffrey didn't make another save. Uh, the first goal is a bad goal, it was a really good finish by the way, but it was a bad goal leading up to the goal in that phase of play. The second goal is a dive, and what's very interesting is is that you know people will say, "Ah, oh, what's he? He's he's blaming the referee, and why is he reacting like that?" I, I'm reacting like that for, for like this for two reasons, and this is what the league and the FA have got to understand. The officials have cost this place, uh, this club, a place in the FA Cup. There's no doubt about that. There, there is no question about that in my mind. We go to Enfield. And in the last minute, you've seen it on the video. We saw the video of Horsham with the embarrassing decision against Jake Hutchins. We see the decision against Fabio, which leads to the free kick. It's, it's a truly embarrassing decision. It's a big mistake. 
and today is a big mistake on the penalty. And if anybody wants to um, question, question me, was it a penalty or was it not? Um, you'll see that I would have walked off the pitch with the referee at half time. I said, he's bought the penalty. The referee said, looking back, there might have been minor contact, but yes, he dived. So there we are. The referee says to me, yes, he dived. And what do you expect from the officials in the second half when they've said something like that to you at half time? Because it's not like he's not, he's not even that up, is he? He's, 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 he's then gone and sent off Fabio. I think barring the officials of Tuesday, who were very experienced and clearly very good, and I even spoke to Gordon Anderson, the assessor, about the officials that day. You know, I've been in football a long time, and the standard of officiating this year is the worst I've ever known it. And, and I don't say that out of emotion, I'm speaking with clarity, I'm speaking calmly. The, we're speaking about the officials too much, and that shows is that they are very bad. And when you've been very bad, When you've been very bad and you're getting quite serious criticism from the supporters and you have 20, you have 11 players surrounding you in the dressing room getting very serious criticism from the dressing room and he smugly smiles at everybody and says that he will have a good Saturday evening and he hopes he does. That is shameful. But that was the lack of personality from the referee who was absolutely dreadful. Next weekend, we um, go to Maldon and Tiptree um, in the FA Trophy. They've just won this afternoon to make it through to the first round of the FA Cup. Um, I know they're in the division below, but we couldn't have really asked for much of a tougher draw there, could we? No, really tough draw against a good side. Looks like I've upset the FA, probably have now anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, a tough, tough game, good side, doing very well in, in their league. Uh, this is not a coincidence. It's a team that should be in our division because they would be in our division uh, if the league wasn't suspended last year. There's, there's no doubt about that. So I'm treating it as though we're going to a very good, a lively Premier Division club. And yeah, the cup draws have been, have been a, a little cruel this season, but we'll deal with it and we'll be ready. And providing that we are taking on 11 and not 14, I think there's every chance that we'll get a good result. Is it relief to have a week, a, a three midweek for a game like that? Yes, it, absolutely. Albeit, well, obviously, it's a difficult week because we'll approach it with uh, without Fabio, who will now get a three-game ban. Um, Tom Kavanagh will also be suspended for the game. So there's two important players that are missing. Uh, we're hoping to get um, one or two players back. Uh, Jake um, was on the bench today, could have played in an emergency, but the reason that he was on the bench was if, you, if there was an issue with Simon or Ollie today. Um, uh, Jerry's not available, Tutu's not available, um, Harry Osborne's not available, so Jake stepped in. So yeah, we're hoping to get Jake back. Harry Osborne, I, d I don't know. I don't, I don't know whether he'll be ready. Um, but we'll be okay, we'll be okay. I'm expecting a great game. Um, it's a competition that we want to do really well in. And um, this team, this team, since I've been here, doesn't often lose two games on the spin. And uh, we'll be certainly taking our frustrations out on more than the next week. Great, well, we'll see you then.